win. It's called the Ralph Fish Community Award. And it's a big one. Ralph Fish is a local veterinarian here who is 96 years old. And Ralph still is active. Ralph is still what Ralph is. It's kind of like Ernie's <laughs> Army senior, like he calls you in the phone. I get Ralph to come into my work office and goes, You guys suck, you gotta do better. And I listen to Ralph and I say, Ralph, we're trying to do better. But Ralph has always been about the community in this town. And Ralph, when this team was community owned, was probably one of the harder working gentlemen that's ever made this team flow. So to call this the community award under his name is, is a privilege. And it's always you get lots of gentlemen, lots of ladies, lots of players who have won this award at different points. And it's, it's a big award, quite honestly, in this organization. And this year we were quite lucky to have uh, this person come on board and help us out. And I think for the fans at home, it was a huge difference. The ones who got to listen on hockey TV, see how things go. And uh, to have that person talking and broadcasting it versus... God love my wife last year. <laughs> if anybody knows pigeonhole hockey, there's a whole podcast on that that talks about my wife for 30 minutes and how horrible of an announcer she is. Video. <laughs> video honor. When she hit somebody, she was, oh my God! <laughs> I believe that was you, Ollie. So when you got 10 days suspension, you can blame that on my wife. <laughs> But nonetheless, this gentleman came on board uh, when there were some changes that went happened in Westport. And he did double duty this year. He worked in Athens and he worked in Perth. And it was a huge difference when Leo came on board. And I think for you as fans that couldn't attend games at different points, you got to listen and have a play-by-play -play announcer. And Leo is a huge, huge community advocate in Westport. He owns Pedrinko's in Westport, which is a family-owned grocery store for... I don't know, 7,000 years ago. <laughs> yeah. And he's a man of the community, whether it be in Westport, Perth, Eastern Ontario. And we were very lucky and fortunate to have Neil come on board this year and help us out in the Ralph Fish. Jeff was doing play-by-play -play in Westport, and I was doing PA announcing. And when Jeff came on board here with part of the ownership group, uh, there were short some people, and Bundy said to me, hey, uh, you like to talk, you can go over and do play-by-play. <laughs> so anyway, I was pretty nervous about it at first, and it's something I've really come to enjoy. And uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of hours, uh, certainly doing two teams, but it's, uh, I really enjoy being around the ring and watching you guys put on a great show for the for the community and everybody really appreciates it. So we just have him decided that he got a new toy and he figured out how to uh, work this machine that crafted some stuff. It's pretty freaking awesome on my shit. So he stepped up and he offered and he did some wonderful things here. Uh, so there's another young man in this organization we'd like to recognize uh, who comes to, and his mom will attest and she might want to punch me. He shows up to every practice, and I stress practice, Mondays, Wednesdays, snowstorm, no snowstorm, doesn't matter. I'm sure his mom wants to punch him. <laughs> he's as true blue as a bluey fan can be. And this year we elevated him and he stepped up and now he's working at our booth and he's hooked him. For oh, yeah. For oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
So now.